Yes, sir, Ski. We be live. It's your boy, Lil Zoliz, man. Session podcast. We in the building. Um, I'm here with none other, man. Chanel True. What's good? Cheers True. <laughs> Cheers, man. Look, we got the... Hold on. It's the session, but we got a little lit going. Talk to me nice and don't talk to me at all. How you feel today? I'm good. I'm mellow. In good spirit, as always. Yeah, man. I try to be... Look, man, this the smoke room, session room, everything in here is mellow, you dig? Period. Man, so, oh, man, it's been tough. I know we've been trying to get this going, but, the, you know, everything with this social distancing and this virus and all the crap, mm -hmm. just been getting in the way. But other than that, how you been feeling? I've been good. Like, at the beginning of this uh, quarantine, Mm-hmm. I was a little depressed. I was getting anxious and upset. Mm -hmm. But I really just had to figure out what what I could do in this time. Like, so I just been creating. I've been doing self care, and reading, and practicing my guitar. Just doing stuff that's gonna make me happy. I guess. Yeah, doing a bunch of stuff to just really kind of keep get my yourself mind together. off of yeah. it. It's like you know, being in the house can get really like irritated. Not yeah. getting no air, not going outside at all, but you gotta, you know, you gotta make your space do it. Yeah, yeah, man. No oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, being in the house, especially when you when you're a go getter. Yeah. Or someone with like a lot of ambition. Yeah. You know what I mean? You really just want to kind of get out and get shit done. You know what I mean? And move around, but mm -hmm. uh, the times that we're in, man, it's best to really just stay at home, protect everybody. You know. And, Mm -hmm. And you know, not indulge in it, but um, I mean, you kind of got into a good way to to enjoy your your space. You dropped a hit. I mean, man, face it, right at the beginning. Man. Yeah, you know what the <laughs> fuck I'm talking about. Man, it just sucks that we can't shoot the video right now. Yeah, time, but mm -hmm. y'all be looking out, be looking out after this quarantine shit over. We on it. Oh yeah, ASAP. Hey, yeah. I mean, Bye. I know right now you can't you can't really get it going how you want, but yeah. I mean, for what we can hear on the audio, mm -hmm. uh, before we get the visual, shit's fire, man. I mean, yeah. look, you've been, you've been working. Obviously, I've been peeping. Um, talk to me a little bit about, uh, um, you know, just Chanel True leading up to uh, this Face It track. You know, kind of how it all started. Like, how did you, you know, decide that you wanted to be an artist? Man, uh, it started at a very young age. Mm -hmm. Um I think the first thing I asked my mom was, can I get a guitar? Mm. I used to watch a lot of Disney Channel, a lot of artists, you know, BET performances and stuff like that. Um, I even tried to get on Disney Channel before. Really? Yeah, with um, this this uh, company called John Hancock. Mm. But they wanted way too much for our agent, like like thousands of dollars that we did not have. So. Mm. <clears throat> and I actually went through. Like, I got through the rounds and everything, but it's like they tell you after you get through that, like, you know, you got to pay this much yeah. for an agent. It's like, you know, Some you bullshit. So, Some... I mean, ever since then, I was just doing talent shows. And um, I actually, I actually, like at the age of 15, me and my brother was both working with this manager that was decent for a little bit. And then after high school, I just started locking in with Yayo, like about five years ago. Yeah, so. talk to me about this little relationship you got here with Yayo because it seems like a strong, strong bond. And I see you guys, you know, through the social media, yeah. you know, always making sure that you guys shout each other out, you know, whenever you guys are collabing. And then you guys, are, you know, even just showing genuine love to mm -hmm. each other. So, how long, how long have you and uh, Yayo been putting in work? You said just what in the high school? Yeah, like as soon as I got out of high school, I met him around like I was turning eighteen. Mm -hmm. Um. I, I booked a session with him. I met him through this this uh, artist named Kurt Lewinsky. Okay. So I booked a session with Yayo. I recorded, like, my first song with him. It wasn't my first song recorded, mm -hmm. but it was, like, my first song recorded with him. Right. Um, <clears throat> I probably dropped it, like, a week or two later. And after that, I just started going to him constantly. Then he, I guess he saw the potential in me. was like, yeah, let's, let's work. Let's work more. So mm -hmm. after that, we've just been on the road consistently yeah. with Black Wolf, too. Yeah. yeah. Nice. So that's the label, Black mm -hmm. Wealth. Black Wealth nice. Entertainment. 
Nice. Okay. So you guys are doing your own thing and, and, and really building your own. So you guys are building the label too. That's pretty dope, man. Talk to me a little bit about this little label then. Cause I didn't, I didn't know that. Well, right? the so label I didn't know this. Talk to Gale, me a little about this label. He's a C, one of the CEOs okay. of the label, him and DJ Reese. Okay. Um, okay. Yeah. Oh, word. Okay. Yeah, Talk to me so, nice. Um, it pretty much started, when did it like, well started? Like probably what? Cut like two or three years ago? Yo, we got, we do got Yeah Yeah in the building. Uh, for people, you know, you know, yeah, yo is in the building. Super producer. And, you know, uh, we do got the CEO uh, and the manager. Yeah, yo, he is in the building. Shout out, yeah, yo, man. But yeah, that started like probably two or three years ago. Uh, it was a couple other artists on there um, that he had already. He was already working with at the time, just like me. Mm-hmm. But I wasn't under like black. I wasn't representing Black Wolf at the time. I was just working with yeah, yo. Okay. And then he was just like, shit, like, let's make this a. Just make this a a thing, like to it. represent the, the squad or whatever. So, okay, so I was fucking with. It. I like the name Black Wealth. I represent Black Wealth. Yeah, I, you know. Yeah, I'm with all that shit. <laughs> yeah, no, yeah. Look, man, look. It's a, it's a black man trying to get his own wealth. Cheers. Yes, sir. I'm with that. That's why I say I want to hear about it. Look, talk to the people. But that's note, man. So y'all got this this little label going, and it's and then trying to build it as an artist and build the label. Mm-hmm. That's what's up, man. That's that's big time moves, man. I mean, that's. That's the blueprint, literally. I mean, no pun intended. Uh, shout out to Hove, but that's the blueprint, really, yeah. on how you want to do it. Yeah, getting your own uh, shit. Yeah, Definitely. so um, now I kind of just want to know, just dig a little deeper into you as an artist, because, I mean, like, my first time seeing you, um, you and I know, but my first time seeing you was actually performing at a little event at uh, the Elbow Room. Mm-hmm. And I had no knowledge of Chanel True. Like, I didn't even, I've never even heard of your name. Right. Um, despite, like, when I found who you are, like, your follower count was, like, 20-something K or something crazy. And I'm like, damn, like, how did I know? Who, and she's in Chicago. How did I not know who she is? Yeah. But when I saw you perform, I was like, fuck, this girl's, like, really talented and like i'm looking around and i'm with with uh solly bands i was doing some work from solly shout out solly and um i'm looking at him like bro she's she's like raw as fuck he's mm-hmm. like nah Thank bro you. like she raw as hell i'm about to try to get a feature yeah you, and, and I so, think, did you come up to me before or after my performance i think i came to you after the performance because like yeah before the performance like i said you know i'm just in the, you know doing some work for solly i'm just peeping the room mm-hmm. you know things like that but once i saw you perform i was like Nah, like, she's for real, like, decent. Like, you know, it's a lot of up-and-coming artists here. You know, some are just, like, you know, they kind of get doing their thing. You know, mm-hmm. I never judge, but I was like, nah, like, yo, we got to, like, yo, let's go grab her real quick. That's what me and Sally were just, like, on it really man. quick. Yeah, so, like. I appreciate that. So, talk to me just, like, as an artist, man, like, you know, you sing, you dance, and I'm pretty sure you can rap if you fucking, fucking, you know, tried. But I do actually rap. Do you really? Seriously? <laughs> yeah, like, so is, like, talk to me about this. Is this, uh, like, self-taught? Or is this something that you really just, you know, locked in to learn? Or, you know, what is this gift you got? Man, like I said, it started at a very young age. First, I was singing, um, playing the guitar. I'm still learning the guitar, but I haven't, I haven't really mastered it yet. But um, I started singing first. Mm-hmm. Um, my brother was rapping Then mm-hmm. I started rapping Then he started singing So it was like You know We were just in a family Just making <laughs> yeah. music And it was really just for fun We didn't think that We was gonna like You know Lock Take this serious But I've always I always felt like I was very passionate about it So In a sense I always took it serious You mm-hmm. know Like I would be writing songs I, I have like at least 20 books of songs from when I was like 14 years old. I still have those songs. Like wow. They're probably trash, but I still got them. Nah, hold them. You so, never know, man. You might be yeah, able to like, sample off of them the or something. The performing part. Um, uh, I, I, I study artists like Beyonce. I study Michael Jackson. I study just artists that are great performers and entertainers. So, mm. you know, I aspire to be like them. So you're a real student of your craft. Mm-hmm. Something Still I learning. preach a lot. Still learning. Preach that shit a lot on this podcast. You motherfuckers don't be out here come trying to come on my podcast, <laughs> and y'all ain't even students of y'all crafts. Man, some people don't even like learning. <laughs> Fuck my motherfuckers. Anyway, no, but that's <laughs> <laughs> no, that's good, man. That's that's good. That's good that you're being a student of your craft, and and that you're really trying to learn and like you know really do good. So, who are some of the people that you'd say that you know, not necessarily that you idolize, but that you might look up to and try to learn from um once like i said beyonce mm. um she's a really good entertainer Tiana a taylor's a really good entertainer chris brown was beyonce the goat 
Beyonce's the GOAT. You think so? She's the GOAT. The ultimate GOAT. You know, there's a lot of people who actually strongly disagree. In what way? They like saying like Diana Ross and shit like that was like. As far as. as far like as musically, just like singing. No, I personally think Beyonce is like the best performer of all time. Can't nobody sing and dance in heels like that. Like, that's just At the tough. same time. <laughs> That's tough. At the same time. She'd be on point. No, like, after I saw that that, that uh, homecoming Documentary? shit. Documentary? And the shit was in sync so crazy. I'm like, nah. Nah. And performed it back to back. That's what I'm saying. Twins. Like, nah. Fuck no. And she's older now, too. I was just like, damn. She was, the that's dope. crazy. The yeah. Dope. Yeah, who else you got? You said um, Tiana Taylor. She's dope. Yeah, Tiana she's Taylor, too dope. Chris Brown. Um, I st- Like, sometimes I go back to the... Uh, Back to the 90s, too. I like Aaliyah. Mm. Um, That's a good one. Missy Elliott is a really dope creative artist. Oh. I was really just watching some of her old videos, her and Busta Rhymes. Like, yeah. They had movies in their videos. Damn, like, you Yo, just took me back. Son. Have you ever just sat there and like constantly watched Missy Elliott no, videos? No, facts. Like, she's, That's going to probably be the next lick I do when I'm on some you know, chill she's shit. She's creative as hell. I don't know who be directing her shit, but... It's probably her, bro. <laughs> Probably her. She is just, it's crazy, like. Yeah, she could perform, too. Yeah. Yeah. And she's a singer. Like, yeah. she sings and raps. Like, a lot of the songs, a lot of the background vocals that she, that Aaliyah had, it wasn't always Aaliyah, it was Missy, too. That's and a And she gem. wrote a lot of them songs. Yeah, too. if you're like, watching Missy probably. Elliott, man, that's a gem. Not, I mean, I don't even think people are even, you know, keeping her on their radar when they're thinking about shit like that. Missy but, is the GOAT. Like, yeah, Missy Elliott, man, hits on hits, bro. Videos on videos, you <laughs> crazy mm-hmm. no nah, that's good though um so i mean it just it just sounds like you're really headed on the right direction with you know learning and just taking your craft really serious and things like that mm-hmm. um so you dropped face it mm-hmm. um and it's it's obviously blowing up i see you even now in like rap genius they got your lyrics up yeah talk to me about how just that notoriety right now feels like after dropping a track like that and then finally like getting that like solid solid buzz to where it's like damn you know like you know people really hear your shit how does I'm that just feel ready to i'm ready to it feels great i'm ready to perform it though i'm ready to you ready to get I'm out ready here? to drop the visuals i'm ready to do everything behind yeah, the, if the rest record of these now, motherfuckers you know stay home stop spreading this shit then we can... home, i know i ain't home right now but still no. man look we're chilling man this is this is look we sprayed down the room before we got in here man we chilling <laughs> But no, it feels great. Like, I always enjoy dropping music. I be scared sometimes because I be like, gee, I hope they like this shit. Yeah. I hope they'll be like, she weak as hell, even though I'm not. But it's no, not. but like, <laughs> I get you. I totally, thoroughly understand. It's just like you, you, you get in a very vulnerable state when you drop music because it's like, are they going to fuck with it? Like, what they yeah. going to think? Mm-hmm. Is this the right song? Is this the right type of song? Is this the right vibe to drop? You never know. That's yeah. why I say just drop the shit, see what they say. And shit, they like, dislike it, keep going, like. Yeah. So, I know you, we were doing a little bit of talking, and you got some plans for this Face It video. Mm-hmm. Uh, face It, you want to do a video, I you're do saying, too. I want to do a video, too. a lot of shows, yeah. um, out of town, too, so. Yeah. Yeah. Face It's a hot track, man. It's like one of those tracks, you know, you can get in the club a little bit, yeah. you know what I mean? Turn up. It's it's for the girls and the guys. It's yeah, I like no. Nah, I, I like the face of track. Like I even see videos. There's guys vibing to the face of track. Yeah, there's girls yeah. vibing to it. Like nah, it's definitely a nice little track that we needed because it's. I think music right now is like in a drought. You know what I mean? Like yeah. I think artists aren't dropping shit because they can't perform it. So Man. I think they're just like fuck no. Shit, I'm not, it's you know. ways. I did a whole live concert. Mm-hmm. It's 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 ways to perform. Like I'm not there physically with you, but. You could see. I'm yeah, still no. Entertaining. You're not. You're not. Yeah, you're <laughs> definitely an entertainer, and this is why I'm saying, like, you know, uh, if, you know, for people who are just now watching the session, and for my listeners, you know, I don't just pull anybody onto the session. Like, if somebody's a, has got real talent, I'll pull them. And I'm telling you guys, she's got a real talent. I mean, sing, dance, it's a real show. Um, you guys should really get out to try to see the next Chanel uh, true show that you guys can. Trust me, it's 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 really worth it. It's lit. Um, I but, have fun up there. Yeah, no, yeah, it looks like you do. You take it really serious, and it's and it's amazing to see when people are really taking a craft serious because it shows mm-hmm. on stage. Mm-hmm. I see a lot of people perform and they suck. Like one of the greatest performers I've ever seen in person was probably Lil Uzi, mm-hmm. and that's a fucking performer. Like mm-hmm. he's gonna give you a show. You know what I mean? 
some people get on stage and they, they just waste your time. Like, it's almost just like, why am I watching you? You yeah. know, if I'm going to be on my some phone. Some people's music time. be good, but like the entertainment, the, like the performing part. Don't the performing add up. part is just kind of like, bro. I, you, you know, know, a lot of that don't, a lot of that comes with them not having the, um, what is it called? Um, artist development. A lot of people are developers. Yeah. They just be getting on. And some artists and just like, have that shit. Like, Travis yeah. Scott, that motherfucker just got energy. Yeah. You know what I mean? So he's gonna bring that energy. Yeah. But a lot of, shit. Yeah, so <laughs> and but but that's to you, you know, I mean I think that's just something you have. You know, you're you just you just seem to have the knack to wanna perform and then you get on stage and then it almost kinda seems like you just zone out and yeah. you do your thing. And I be I be feeling like I, I am the song when mm. I be performing like you know how you, you watch a video, you be feeling like you in it sometimes? Yeah. That's how I feel No, I totally before. get you. I'd be like that. <laughs> so, I mean, just to even get to this point, I understand it. I mean, for every artist, there's usually some, some tough points or some, some obstacles in the way. Mm-hmm. Just talk to me about some of those hardships that you've had, um, you know, being being an up-and-coming artist, you know. Um, For one, sometimes, you know, uh, money-wise, mm-hmm. you just struggle. Mm-hmm. And just getting in my own way mentally. Like, you know, sometimes you get depressed with other things, personal things in your life, and... It, it, it become a distraction but like I really just try to put it out through my music and um you know heal that way yeah yeah no yeah I totally get what you mean a lot of when you got a lot of stuff going on or financial block I mean yeah. it does put it a fucking it gets depressing like yeah the shit puts a hold on shit and then it kind of discourages you yeah and then sometimes you wake up with that ambition, like "fuck it, let's do it, let's get this no, done today." I was just actually watching this. Um, I was just actually watching this video with um, Big Sean talking about uh, the difference between distress and you stress. Mm. You stress is when you you're motivated by your your hardships, and mm. distress is when you just let it, you know, take you down to shit. Yeah. And I feel I was in distress, but now I'm taking that and using that as motivation to right. get to where I want to be and to, you know, to constantly keep pushing forward, even during the hardships. Yeah. So. Was it difficult, like, working on your sound, like, going from, like, you know, being kind of like a natural singer, mm-hmm. you know, maybe doing the dishes in the shower and shit like that, like, yeah. damn, you sound great, to, like, putting it down on a microphone? Uh, at first, <laughs> yeah, I, when I first recorded my first song, I cried because mm. I couldn't get it. It was, I remember, like, I was, like, I was like 13, 14. I was like in this after school program at my old school, um, Little Black Pearl. Mm. And um, the guy was recording me and, and I couldn't get it. I was crying. I'm like, Gee, I'm, I don't want to do this no more. Like, I love music, but I'm not going to do this no more. I was crying. I couldn't get it. It didn't sound right. It, like, it took us like two hours to finish the song. Mm. So, but every time I did it, I got better. So, yeah. Pretty much. Yeah. Just practice makes perfect. It's yeah. kind of the old saying. And then now, are you? I'm pretty sure now, you know, being locked in, especially like with Yayo and stuff, mm-hmm. a little more comfortable in the studio yeah, now. Like me and Yayo, we be knocking songs out. Like especially when they're like, if I got a song, a record ready, we knock it out in probably like an hour. Really? Mm-hmm. Nice. That's good timing. Yeah. No, I'm in the studio with some people, and it takes a long time, and then they're mad yeah. because it takes such a long time. Only to actually time it takes a, a long track. time is if we cooking up from the beginning. Right. Like if he making a track from scratch right. and I got to write from scratch, then that's when it'll probably take a probably like Damn, three I'm hours have to, come to finish to a studio one session, man. Yeah. I'm going to have to come and get a we're going to have to do the vlog for the studio session, man. Something for that cuz I want to see that if you guys are knocking shit out in an hour. Yeah. I want to see how Most this of the time shit. I just have a song ready to record though. Yeah. No, yeah. So now what how what's your um your style of recording? I mean, are you are you writing your lyrics? Are you getting your lyrics written for you? Are you freestyling your lyrics in the booth? I mean, talk to me. I write my lyrics. Okay. I write all my lyrics. Okay. Um, there were like, my last project I have, I did have somebody send me a couple songs okay. to put on the project, but 99, 99.8% of my stuff is written by me. Yeah. So. No, that's totally fine. I know, you know, it's a little bit different for singers mm-hmm. in a way, I guess, you know. Or a little more acceptable, I yeah. guess I'd say, in the music world, if singers have 
written lyrics. I'm, for the, I'm open to it. For though. whatever reason, like, I don't know why. Have, I'm open but, to having writers for my singing, but as far right. as rapping, I gotta spit my own. That's shit. what I'm saying. Yeah, when you're <laughs> rapping, it's kind of, it's like yo, you can, no ghostwriters on the rap. But so. I did learn though. I did learn how to uh, freestyle flows and then just plug in lyrics after that. Okay. Like say for instance, we, we are in a studio yeah. session and I don't feel like writing, but he got a beat. I'm gonna go in there, put down some flows real Whatever quick. The top. Hear some Hear melodies. It. Punch back in. See what I want to pick and choose from. Yeah. And then we find shit. I've had some dope hits from that. Like, mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, yeah. Some dope I've hits seen some dope hits created like <laughs> that. Yeah, yeah. People go in the booth just whatever off top. And, yes. then it, and it works. No, that's dope. Um, so what's like, you know, and, it, you know, from, I mean, I guess let's start when coronavirus stops. <laughs> okay. But, um, you know, when, when all the crap stops, um, I guess the next year, a uh, plot for Chanel True. What's the what's the leap you're trying to make um, within the next year? Hmm. So, I definitely want to drop an EP. Okay. I want to drop an EP. I yeah. want to travel more and perform more out of state. Um, at least have. I don't know if I want to do a visual EP, but I want majority of the the songs on my EP to be shot like all okay. videos, like yeah, content back to back. Right. Um. I want to get a big feature. I don't know about who yet, but I got a feeling I'm going to get a big feature by an artist. Oh, it'll come. Um, yeah, I think it'll come. And, soon. um, shit, that's pretty much it. Just keep keep grinding and working and, and you know, to gain a, a way bigger fan base than I have now. Mm. Yeah. I mean, at least they, 100K. Oh, yeah. At least 100K. I think I could see that <laughs> in a year, in a year's time. Yeah, yeah. for sure. So you got to keep grinding and, and putting together, you know, the, the content and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. Oh, so while I got you talking about your fucking content, I want to <laughs> ask you, do you, when you do your little dance fucking scenes and stuff like that in your videos, <laughs> do you make up your own dances or like, do you have a choreographer that's like coming in and showing you how to do it? Um, as far as like... Like your little dance scenes. Like I saw one, uh, I can't remember which video it just was, um, and you and two other young ladies... In like a pink room. Oh, it's a crazy dance scene. Yeah, so there. that that dance scene, that dance scene was uh, choreographed by this girl named uh, Tierra. Okay. Yeah, she's one of my choreogra choreographers and dancers as well. Um, sometimes I choreograph my own stuff, uh -huh. but majority I have help with it. Okay. Yeah. No, yeah, I was just wondering because I'm like, damn, man, if she's creating all of this shit, it's freaking unstoppable. I used to her. when I um, when <laughs> I first started with dancers, I've been through like at least thirty dancers. Like, yeah. I used to create the dances, or I have a friend help me with it. Mm. But um, now I just really I have my I have to see if one of my dancers could come up with it. Mm. So yeah, okay. I just send them the song and be like, "Bab out to me." Yeah. If you could come Get up with busy. something, come right. up with some. If not, I will come up with something like. Well, that's good because you know I think that takes off some of the workload on you, mm -hmm. and it helps folk helps you focus on being an artist. Yeah. And people don't really understand, you know, sometimes you can have an art, you can create an artist off one track and it blows and mm -hmm. we got an artist, but sometimes you got to have a team and everybody's got to play their role mm -hmm. to build this artist. You know, yeah. if everybody wants to eat, you know what I mean? You got to play a role to build this artist Thanks. and, you know, like uh, letting your choreographers or your dancers come up with the routines and, and uh, whatnot is probably a smart idea, so that way you can just lock in and focus on. You know. I like to be hands on with everything, though. Like, yeah, like for sure. even though I, you know, as far as dancing, I may sit back and take, uh, let her, you know, take the wheel on that. I still like to be like, okay, you know, how we gonna tra do the transitions? How we gonna like? I just want to make sure everything is perfect and align with what what makes sense as yeah. far as the song. So yeah. No, that's good that you're hands on and you and you're really dialed in. Um, so now you said you want to drop an EP. Is that mm -hmm. something that we're working on in the works now, or is I'm that in the recording process? You're in the yes. recording process of that now. Okay, mm -hmm. what's the timetable look like on that? When it's gonna drop? Yeah. I don't have a date yet. Damn, you know, I be trying to get I don't that. have a date yet. <laughs> no date yet? No date yet. Man, we gotta get gonna that. Fired, it's gonna be fire, It's gonna be crazy. Oh, man. Um, so, uh, before I get out of here, man, I just want to ask you a couple more things. Uh, I know you're a Chicago native, so mm -hmm. we got to just try to get uh, a little bit of background from you. Which side are you from? Southside. Southsider, <laughs> yeah. Which high school did you attend? I went to um, I went to Diet, and I graduated from Little Black Pearl, though. I went really? to two high schools. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, 
And uh, did you get involved in any sports or anything growing up? Yeah, in diet, um, I played volleyball. I played basketball, but I didn't. Uh, I didn't really play. Wait, you team. played basketball? I, played I was basketball. gonna say, wait, what? Yeah, I played basketball a little bit, mostly street street ball, because I didn't. <laughs> I yeah. didn't. I didn't be able to make the team. I was trying to do too many things at mm-hmm. once. So, but volleyball, basketball, um, I was kind of a cheerleader too. Um, I try to do every damn thing. I ain't gonna lie. Mm. I liked a lot of stuff. Um. And that's pretty much it as far as sports. All right, I'm lastly. Right, like uh, my knees and whatnot. <laughs> 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 lastly, uh, who's your celebrity crush? Uh, hmm. I can't. I would say we all got one. I would say Chris Brown, but I really like want to just work with Chris Brown, like. <laughs> you don't want to ruin that, uh, yeah, that like, possibility. We already know Chris Brown. It's all right. Look, Chris Brown. Look, I think I think Chris Brown is okay with I like understanding Lucky that. Lucky Day. Lucky Day is very fine to Lucky me. Day. Who the hell is Lucky Day? You don't know. Who, well, you Lost. you don't listen to R and B artists, do you? Nah, not too many. See, you not gotta check many. out Lucky Day. He's cold. Lucky Day. You just tried to put me on Lucky. And Okay, Brent Fayez, he a newer artist. You ever heard of him? Mm-mm. Brent Fayez is dope, too. I'm going to get both of their pictures and put them up, too, <laughs> so we can see. Where, see, So y'all can see, because if they not that, <laughs> y'all can get on her ass. Say that to me. Uh, <laughs> okay. Shout out to them, man. Look, y'all, this is Chanel True, man. Session podcast. Chanel, I appreciate you taking time with your busy day coming through. Thank you. Uh, keep happy. working, man. It's it's all fire. Face it. Y'all can go get that now. All platforms, man. Go grab that. It's really that. I wouldn't be talking about it if it wasn't. Um, for sure, man. Cheers Chanel. Cheers, man. You know we. You know what's going on. Cheers, guys. Appreciate you. We signing out.